I brought my agent to my show at the main room. Oh yeah, how'd it go? I bought my dick off. Farting in regular yoga class, fine. Farting in hot yoga is... First of all, just want to touch on that. Not fine to fart in regular yoga class. Do you know how many shows I've done with people I didn't want to fucking see? I don't. A million? All of my bridesmaids are wearing potato sacks. I don't give a fuck. I wish I was worse when I drank so I'd stop. Boy, the dicks I've sucked for literally nothing. Oh, here we go again. Welcome to Slug! Oh yeah. We're here. We're here. Hi. Hello. It's Monday again. Hi, it's Monday. <laughs> Welcome back to Slob. I really wanted to have something more fun to roll into there, but I kind of let you down. Uh, I don't know what we should say. I mean, what can you say to the podcast that's about nothing? You know, it's another day. Our podcast isn't about nothing. It's about everything. It's about your breakup. How are you doing? Am I, yeah. <laughs> the whole thing about my breakup. <laughs> Holding on by a thread. You know, a girl. But uh-huh. that's, 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 uh, it comes in waves. That's the waves are very expected. weird. Yeah. Like, okay, full transparency for everyone. We recorded two back to back. This is the second in a row. Yeah. And just, I went upstairs to pee and just had a wave of sadness. Oh, and I was in the bathroom, like, pull it together. <laughs> oh, that was you next to me. You should have said hi. Yeah, I also farted. I'm sorry. I should have said, excuse me. You, you didn't laugh? I at didn't her know fart? who was in there. No, it I didn't a, laugh at her fart. I didn't know she, didn't she was like me or not. And I was going to be, animal. and I was going to. I always laugh at a fart. You don't laugh at people's, you laugh at people's farts in public restrooms? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm loud. sorry. Oh, yeah. Dude, I will go to the airport. We're pivoting. Sorry, we'll come back. No, we don't have to. Doesn't Please, even God, don't need come to back. Be said, but I will go to the airport, put my noise canceling headphones on, and just take a shit. It's my routine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, who cares if someone's laughing? I don't give a fuck. Him. I'm like, oh, is someone at the airport going to think it's funny that I took a shit and tell all their friends? And you come like, out. No, no. Like, is the there? worst case scenario. Yeah, no, that's not going to happen. never see them again. Who gives a fuck? No, no. no. Be like, I put my headphones on when I shit at the airport. Yeah. <laughs> Remember that girl we saw in Corden a couple weeks ago? <laughs> I was at the airport. She farted at the airport. She yeah, ripped I a new did, hole in the universe. You have to shit and fart before you get on the plane. Yeah. I laugh at my own farts though. If I fart sometimes, oh, it's too. like insane. Like I had one the other night. I woke myself up and it was like, eh? it was like oh a question. And I'm like, this is insane. I have to tell you this story. So eh? farting. I <laughs> middle of the night. I was like, ah. <laughs> I silently farted during a nap with Dave, and it <laughs> it smelled so bad that it woke him up. Oh he God. woke up and he was looking for the smell. He's like, what is oh, that? God. He woke up and he had, his eyes were squinting and he was walking around the room with like his back hunched and then he was like, you made <laughs> you made it smell bad. He finally, <laughs> he finally he figured out it was you. He was looking for it because he thought something was wrong. That's I'm like, so did he have funny. a haste it back to yeah. my, my butt? I wonder what his like last moment of a dream was before he woke up that is like, there's like a nuclear power plant was leaking and he woke up and he's like, what is it? It feels too real. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a that's smell so funny. waking a you smell up is wild. It's bad. I, that's my biggest worry whenever I like start dating somebody. I'm like, which is few far between. I have to be like, I have a farting problem. I fart all of the time. It's not a problem. No, but I fart like probably 40 times a day. Wow. that's And like, I'm shitting a lot too. I also, I, all I do is shit and fart. Why am I alone? <laughs> Dave farts the funniest sm- sounding farts. are like, <laughs> They're so small. The, like, squeaky, squeaky they farts. are the smallest sounding farts I've ever heard, and they never smell like anything. Fuck and him. I silently fart, fart and, it's the and most try disgusting to sneak thing. them by, and, and then I'll realize that I did it, and I'm so embarrassed. Yeah. But I'm also like, I don't know. I, I've always said, like, oh, go to the bathroom if you're going to fart. But then really, like, being in a long-term relationship with no, someone you know, that's no. not fucking Who are you going to go to the bathroom weird. every five minutes? Yeah, I, I live, guess what? I Bye. I live in the bathroom. Then. Are, <laughs> I know home. women who are in long-term relationships who still don't fart in front of their, like, fiancé. No, that's psychotic. Say, no, you know what, though? I, I would try to not fart in front of my partner, my now ex. A couple slipped out here and there, but I would just like try to. So I'm just gonna go over yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. But it, I constantly wonder if I'm holding those in, and then at night it's just like ripping out. Probably is. <laughs> like all night. Also, doesn't your stomach hurt when you hold them in? Mine gets really crampy. I yeah maybe. I'll try to like sneak them past if I think I can, but I'm not just like. <laughs> I'm not just like <laughs> letting the big Rip, ones Oh yeah, go, when your you know? partner just said, doesn't care at all and they just go, <laughs> and you're like, could, we, could there be a little bit of um, like tact here? I feel like, a okay, little, I will say, I think I'm, this started because my first, I've talked about this before, my first boyfriend had no sense of smell, so I'd fart she all of the time. Smell. Well, then I'm going to fart around her all, all the time. 
Oh, also, that, Susan farts, and it's the funniest thing that That is ableist, okay? That's just, <laughs> it's ableist. rude. Shut up. It's rude. That's I, like you gaping your asshole in front of your friend because they're blind and being like, okay, <laughs> that's absolutely <laughs> not that. They don't gaping know. your asshole and then they're in front like, of your did blind someone friend. Fart? And you're like, yeah, someone farted, and it's just your whole no, asshole in their face. No, that is absolutely not the same thing. I know. Uh, I'm trying to make myself a It's victim, exactly the <laughs> same. God. As someone from the nose blind community, <laughs> I am offended. Calling it nose blindness is able. List. I feel like you I'm should smell nose Susan's then. Visually bad. impaired. <laughs> it's that. That's bad. It's called Why um, just nasally impaired. It's nasally impaired. Mm-hmm. No, don't, nose worse. visually impaired. Your nose you can't see, you motherfucker. Can what are you talking about? It's you can smell. Oh, there's Look a word. Like it starts I'm with ridiculous. an O, and I can't remember what it is now. Great, I've lost my brain. Ew, I'm right, slipping. That's it. You're slipping. You're well, your nose is your olfactory sense. Yeah, it's called ob. It doesn't matter. No, it doesn't. <laughs> See, nobody cares about the nose blind nobody community. Nobody does. Yeah, yeah, do you know yeah, how no, many, That's no. true. Nobody does. Yeah, do you know how many no. people like me have died from gas leaks? Oh, Zero. God. Both you know, from the butt and the stove. Oh, speaking like of one. gas leaks, I think my nose is a little too much because I was staying at uh, my buddy Daniel Webb's house. I was watching his dog. This is like a year ago. Walking his house, I went, gas leak, gas leak. I'm like, I'm like, immediately, I call the gas company. I call him. I'm like, there's a gas leak. He's like, I, Steph, I've been there. There's no gas leak. Guy comes over. He's like, this has been leaking for weeks. And I'm like, that's more about him than you. I, I was like, you and he's the no poor dog. dog. And I'm like, did he have, he's, I'm like, he, did he have COVID? Dog. Like, what did no, he smell? No, nothing? nothing. I don't know. The guy wow. came in and has like, I have to turn this off immediately. I'm like, yeah. I, the second I walked in, I went, that's gas. Like, I, I smell too much though. I smell uh, every bad breath that in the city. Thank God for your nose. That, what a gift. You, no. you saved. Daniel's life. It life. does sound like any normal person would have smelled that. I, I based on really the guy's thought. reaction, yeah. which is seems like it was shit, a very bad gas leak, leak and I'm worried about Daniel's yeah. nose now. I had gas leak in my house too. Smelled it right away. They came in, shut it down. I, I like, but then I smell breath. I can right now list every male comedian with bad breath. Do we in, have in the okay city. breath? Can you yes, smell you my do. breath? I would never, from I would here? know. Okay, I, you would tell I me. would, and I would know. I would want you to tell me, and I would tell you. Okay, and I'll tell you, I wouldn't be here right now. Yeah. If either of you had bad breath, I mean, I, as I'm sitting here sucking back coffee, my breath is probably a fucking well, if gaping you asshole me, right now. But if you catch me with bad breath, I you've never my... one time had bad breath. Okay. Neither of you have. Okay, I'm very conscious of it. I work. Yeah. I and work you, you floss too. I uh, do. Not yeah. a lot of women do. They're all, I brush my teeth. Women... I scrape my tongue. I use mouthwash, and I, I just floss, got a tongue And scraper. I chew gum frequently throughout the day. And if I'm home before a show, I'll do a second breath. Yeah, this wow. is yeah, You're... which I think is where a lot of comedians. Let me tell you, slip up is they don't do the, second, the second brush, brush or yeah. any or the tongue scraping you can't or no flossing. Just brush yeah. your teeth in the morning and be cool no. until no, like the next morning. Like, what are people doing? Yeah, well, and the you the, must floss. No, you yeah. must. I floss every day. I floss every day. Every single day I floss. You have to, especially yeah. like especially every before. day. I have to put Invisalign Absolutely. in. I can't have chunks in my Invisalign. I heard someone say that they uh. uh a dentist say that they would rather you floss every day than brush every day and that doesn't mean oh, that brushing wow. isn't incredibly important but that's, that's how important just wow. how important flossing Gingivitis. i want to just go on record and say that i said i know i just said the flossing every day i'll do the i have two and i this is the thing i know i just need to be better at uh i have uh built-in retainers on the front like four teeth on top and bottom from after i got my teeth straightened mm-hmm. so i have to sew i have to have like special floss mm-hmm. So I, sometimes I skip a day here and there. I'll do the, the rest of the teeth. That does sound annoying, but that's all the more reason yeah. that you need to and floss. Because that's the more places for something to get trapped. And you have yeah. good teeth. You're, You're right. What are you and doing? You have they're all I have. Pearly whites. I get in there. They're the not all you have. You're absolutely gorgeous. But they're a good feature. <laughs> and it pisses me off a little bit that you don't even floss. My teeth yeah. look like fucking dog shit. And I take incredible care of I do floss. Them. I just sometimes am tired and I don't do these ones, which I know I, I do. That's a problem. All right. Well, I, I could be Those hammered. Last I hammered, floss. Hmm? Those are your money makers. They are. I know, and they're not Trump, really Trump. working. So maybe actually I'll have them fall out, and then I can get cast as a witch. Uh, speaking of which, we're going to film a really funny video at her Leave house. Leave the witch rolls to people who already have shitty teeth. Don't let your beautiful teeth fall out to be a witch. Well, no one's casting me in a Colgate commercial. I'm, Colgate? Why not? Have you applied for a Colgate commercial? I have. I have emailed them pictures of my teeth every day. Can you imagine? Every single That's day. Hi, Crest. Just checking in again. <laughs> I'm an influencer. What's the craziest thing you've done, like, w- like messaging somebody like that? Like, the, like a weird thing you've done? I tweeted at uh, Simbad. <laughs> he should have me open for him. That's so funny. I, I think, think it was I also have in a, a thing. City. I don't put myself out there like that. I, I'm about to do something. I'm trying I to do better to with brands. The cringiest things that I've done have been just like um, 
messaging comedians who already lived here before I moved here to get on shows, but that's not cringy. It's that's just something where when people do yeah, it to yeah, me yeah. now, I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, what? Yeah, too, no, too many no. people ask me for stuff. Yeah, like, I go comedybureau.com. Yeah. If like a yeah. very close friend of mine asks me to help them get on shows, then I'll do it. Yeah. But like random people who open for me once, does that make me a shitty person? No, I don't. I, I, I just get a lot of stuff like that. It's and very I'm like, overwhelming. I'm trying to run my own shit. It's, it's also, guess what? Go, go find out yourself. Welcome to I fucking LA. I have people from Canada who best yeah. be like, hey, I'm coming to LA. All right. Cool. cool. I'm not giving you a single fucking contact. Like, also, right. I I'm came here on my fucking booked. own seven yeah. years ago. I, I lived on a couch for two months. Fuck yeah. you. Yeah. Figure it out. I would drive. I would bike to open mics, knock it on, and cry the whole way home. Go figure it out. I'm not yeah. giving away my contacts. No, I'm annoyed. Right. right. I'll give work. contacts to close people who I know are really funny. Sure. But I'll just go. This is the contact. And that's it. I'm Freak not out. giving you. Well, also, the thing that makes me feel shitty is that like I'm not doing shows anymore that a person could just come to town. Oh yeah, yeah you, I feel the same. Yes, yes. On. I've been doing yeah. most so, of clubs. So having yeah. said no to those shows it would be shitty of me then to, make to yeah. put this person in a position where they're like oh Lara Bites said that I should do your show what Lara Bites didn't even do my fucking show when I asked exactly, you yeah, exactly. and now she wants me to put up some, some fucking yeah 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 bozo you know I mean? yeah, yeah. So, well, I've never heard of but yeah. I, I can't think of a nice way to say like no no so I, I just I always ignore default it to the comedy bureau and I'm like yeah I'm like, and I'm very honest oh, I'll do too. that I'll, go, what, I'll do that yeah. the comedy yeah, 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 yeah. and then I go you know I I and especially since like post pandemic, and this is the thing I keep saying I'm going to get better at. I've kind of just been mostly doing club spots. Yeah. So I go. Yeah. I I'm not. I I, I need know. to sit down and figure out who's who yeah. because yeah. I feel like I'm out of the loop. Yeah. Yeah. I, don't I only do club spots or shows that pay very well that mm. would not book these people. Yeah. You know? yeah. 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 So it's like. like yeah. No. I can't it's help also you. Do yeah. the work. Yeah. So I have to tell you this. This is what I'm going to do, and and maybe I need you to, to stop me from doing it. So I'm obsessed with this band. Death from Above, 1979. They're a Canadian rock duo. I, I slipped into the DMs a couple of years ago. The drummer, Sebastian, who runs the account, he's been answering me. And it's his fault for answering me because he's got me worked up. We'll go on record. Drummers, not good people. He's married. Fine I'm pretty people. sure he's married. Bad lovers. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I would love this man to just... Fine lovers. Bad This point. man can tear yes. me apart and bury my innards in the ground and I would still want to text him. Here's the thing. So the first time I did Bill Burr's on the Ringers, I mentioned a band that I saw at the tele Telegram Ballroom, and it was them. So I sent him the clip, and I went, hey, I'm actually talking about you guys in the clip. And he liked it and said, very funny. And I went, of course he did. That's <laughs> fucking awesome for them. That's so cool. So, but I didn't say the band name, but I was like, it was about he you, whatever. He doesn't think you're some care. dork. No, he does. No, you're amazing. I'm about to send him the Netflix clip. Is that crazy? No, that's so cool. You have to. But I'm like, I mean, it's not. I don't know. So I already asked. Steph, I DM'd fuck them. this drummer and marry him. <laughs> he has a wife, I'm pretty sure. Oh, but I, I did they need a him. unicorn? Be their like third thing. I asked if they wanted me to do, do a that. Co be their comedy third. video. Don't be people's third. Why not? Because no it comes commitment. from a place of a lack of self-worth for no. you. Not for everybody. For you, it comes from a place <laughs> of not feeling like you're enough to get more than that. Uh. You're not someone's third. You're someone's second. Oh, I want to be someone's first. first. Yeah. <laughs> Second of two people having sex. Oh yeah, I don't yeah. know. I can see where I lost you on that. I'm just gonna take love. Have you had a threesome? Uh, I have you? Fuck no. I'd rather die. I've had it. I've had. I've yes. I've threesome? had multiple people. I can people barely get a... myself through a twosome with my fucking head up. You shitting me? <laughs> I've yeah, had, let's add a person. Let's I've add more genitals to this situation with two guys. I can barely manage. I've had an only oh, really. Oh, all right. Yeah, two guys. Yeah, I took a little trip to Paris. It's called the Eiffel Tower. Get with the program. Isn't that wow. The, wait, wait, so it was Andy and a different dude? Oh, it was not Andy. My God, no. You've gone uh, to Paris with multiple dudes? No, I was... I was you went to Paris by yourself. called the Eiffel Tower. I thought only gay men did that. I didn't know. I thought it was a gay man thing. You went to a bar called the Eiffel Tower? You went to a gay bar called the Eiffel no. Tower and fucked two dudes? I'll tell you what the Eiffel Tower is. I can't believe you don't know. I can't believe you don't know. Eiffel Tower is when there's a person in the middle, and I guess dudes do it. Because you said you I thought it was a gay, do. yeah. No, it's anyone do it. So there's a guy fucking you from behind, <laughs> and you're sucking the other guy's dick. And then, in theory, they didn't actually. They high five over you. It looks like the Eiffel Tower. That sounds. They didn't high five. Like more work than just getting fucked from behind. Yeah, but if you like sucking dick, which I do, it's a problem. I probably speaks to self worth issues. Who knows? But while it's you're getting pleasing. fucked, yeah. But hey, see, the, you ever crush in front of a crowd of 300 people? You know what it's like to make two guys come at the same time. It's amazing. You oh, made two guys come bah, at the bah, same bah, time? Bah, bah, bah. Just <laughs> keep Stop singing. You made two guys come at the same yeah. time? Yeah. And they squirted over me like the fountains of the Bellagio. They did yeah, not. Yeah, did yeah. They and then really? the music went, played and the lights ah, came on. Yeah. yeah. Well, like when Ariel comes yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And then they're like, could you not do the singing? That's- yeah, why is it, why was it queued up? I feel like if I did all of that, I would cry at the end. I feel uh, like it would bring up emotions and no, I, I would it. still no, ruin it. Th- I think of that moment and I don't, I, I doubt I'll ever do it again. And I don't know if I'll ever like, but that's a once in a lifetime sort of situation. Maybe just described. I felt yeah. very sexually empowered in that moment. Oh yeah. Because here's what, how, here's I how it happened. I this for you. I want it. I think that this should happen for you. I'd love it. Oh, yeah. It wasn't, by the way, two guys being like, you got to fuck both of us. It was two guys who were very clearly having this like alpha male trying to out hit on me, which let me say that doesn't happen that often. (laughs) It's not two guys being like, notice me more. Yeah. And they're just kind of like, ha ha. But it's clearly like they're both hitting on me. And I literally was like, all right, are we going to do the Eiffel Tower or what, guys? Because like, I want to fuck. Wow. And I'm not here. I don't. And they were like, what and I was like yeah let's go let's fuck uh, and I'm wet it was <laughs> I where did that girl go I'm so impressed she's coming back she's in you oh she's I'm coming like, back yeah, she's in me there's a lot of things in me swimming around <laughs> uh and then I've had almost like three like three so I had an almost threesome with uh one of my sorority sisters and this guy but I just <laughs> fell asleep on the floor That's... they were like in the bed and we're like yeah we're gonna fuck you and I was like I'm gonna lay down and I just <laughs> laid on the floor Good night. while well, they fucked the closest I've come is I talked to a friend of mine about fucking him and his wife but I really didn't want to so I never did okay well then there you go I get propositioned a decent amount by a couple oh, couples. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was drunk I would talk about it while drunk but I really didn't want to so no, I that, that, that would have been awkward if, if you knew like, the friend and the wife like if I it has to be strangers yeah wife. strangers I yeah. liked both of them but it didn't translate into a sexual no 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 no. I had an almost five some situation and then it just sort of dissipated it was college it was, yeah. everyone's just like making out yeah to, into me like fucking one dude but the then I kept fucking that guy for a, of a having sex with a couple weeks with to me it's it, Sex with multiple what? The idea of having sex with a woman is repulsive to me. Oh. And the idea of having sex with two men sounds just exhausting. It sounds like a lot of work. Yes, the energy is the problem. Yeah. I did. I'm not repulsed by women. No, I've not, I'm not I, repulsed I, by women. Bisexual, I'm repulsed by the idea of having but sex But I've with never women. gone further than being like, nice honkers. I've never done that to I know. I, got, I did it. My first threesome was uh, out here in LA. I was here doing this crazy pilot for a week and I fucked uh, a guy and a girl in their in our hotel room, and it was I think I initiated it, and um, halfway through she cried saying that she has a boyfriend, and I was like, "Well, I don't, so I'm gonna keep fucking him." Um, it's always yes. Yeah, excuse it, me. Wow. Yeah, and I have another time. She just stood there crying oh. the whole time. <laughs> My she, well, no, I, I, like, no, I can't. She's like, you can me, you can keep going. Dick. So I just kept fingering her. I'm like, all right, I'll just keep fingering you, fingering you, fucking you. Here we go. And then another guy. This story w- you'll love. Uh, is that. I met a guy at uh, the Ro- Rainbow Room, an Australian guy off Bumble when I first moved out here. Ooh. Uh, and, and I got there, and his friend's there. And I go, oh, I didn't know we were all hanging out as a group. I thought this was a date. He's like, oh, no, my buddy's he's going to come by. He's, he's kind of going through the breakup. And I'm like, huh, okay. We end up getting so fucked up. I'm doing cocaine at Saddle Ranch. And I went <laughs> back to their it. Airbnb, fucked one guy. And then uh, after I fucked him, I went to go pee. And his friend is like, uh, I guess the air media didn't have a lot of doors so he could hear us fucking. And he goes, and he was jerking off. And he's like, just sit on my face. And I went, mm, all right. And then I just squatted on this man's face. Oh, <laughs> you're a goddess. See, this is no, like- no, and then, no, 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 no. Then oh. I went back to the bed. I snuggled with the he other guy. snuggled with the other guy. Went back to the other guy. Went left the next morning. Went to go show my friends how hot the guy was on my phone. Blocked me. <gasps> Unmatched me and with blocked the guy me on Instagram. You sat under the, no, guy the other guy. Fucked. The other guy, guy. fucked. Oh, well, oh, that's because yeah. you sat on his friend's face after he fucked him. Yeah, probably. Or he was always going to do that. Yeah, I think he he's always going like, to do that. Girls, he, he was the hottest man in the entire world. Literally the hottest guy I've ever fucked in my life. Australian, long blonde hair, fucking six pack. And then I'm like, don't believe me. I'm like, I, I can, I I can prove you. it. He was the hottest guy I ever fucked. I believe you. This is, oh, yeah, I know. You're like, I don't even have the photos. I have, and then they're like, oh, really? And then they just picture me literally with a gargoyle. Just like some <laughs> man that's just living in a puddle. You're I'm like, like, that's a cardboard is. cutout of Thor. <laughs> yeah. <Steph. laughs> I'm like, that's not a he's man. But then I got, I was just moved here, so I didn't have a phone yet. I was completely lost. I had to walk for like two and a half hours. I just kept looking for the observatory and just walking north because I had no money and I had no phone. And I was like, all right. And then I walked and I had blisters for weeks. Oh, Anyways. God. Well, at story. least that's all you had for weeks. My God. I mean, I can't believe the the like I the on the Netflix thing. I joke, but I had chlamydia. I've never actually had chlamydia. Oh. I've only had HPV. I was gonna go. Oh, you you had chlamydia? I've, no, I, I I've literally only had HPV. Bad, but that that was it. Bad, bad. It oh, but really I know it turned into cancer. It was bad. Oh, yeah. It was bad. It was bad. Oh, oh yeah, they get in there. You know, thing. Yeah, they blast you with ice crystals and shit. Yeah, they had to go in, needle in, burn the fucking cells off. You smell your own burning I've heard flesh. So Nightmare. Many stories um, of friends that- 
Oh yeah, Matt knows how. But I was like, huh, shocking that I haven't got more. I should have. I've been gross. You've been lucky. Cell yeah. injection. I was like oh, one of the did? first people to get that. I oh mean, shit. One of the f- yeah, it was. I got it when it was like new. Oh fuck. When you were like young, how old are you? Um, how old am I? No, how old were you when you got it? Uh, I don't remember. I gotta tell you, I got the Gardasil injection. I was like the oldest end of people who can get it. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, uh, I, I got it, and uh, gotta tell you, the first time this thing showed up, a couple months after that. So I don't know, really? Gardasil. Huh? Maybe you gave me <laughs> the cyst. Yeah. Rheumatoid arthritis. <laughs> well, that's anecdotal. Definitely. Yeah. So yeah. No, don't, don't blame take, vaccines take for me stuff. out of contact. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> No, I, I, I never took it. I never took it, but I haven't gotten there's other strains. I've never gotten another you strain yet. Still, Not yet. Oh, I, I think still you get can it. still get it. Oh, you can still, there's a million strains. That's the thing is a they million. go like, it, it covers nine strains. How many are there? Three hundred. Yeah, literally. No. And how many affect men? Maybe one. But it keeps you from getting Michael the Douglas. strain that causes cancer, right? I think that was the main thing. Well, yeah. No. There's more than one strain that causes cancer, but it does, does it keep protect you from, you from the some of the cancer that strains. Cause cancer? Oh. Yeah, some he, cancer strains and some general ward strains. You know what the problem is? I think it comes down to American healthcare because I I got my pap and then the girl's like, okay, you can come back in four years. I go, four years? Yeah, no, they started go, doing that. That didn't used to be a thing. I go, what every year? Every year. Every year. So and, every year because that's how I found out I had fucking HPV. I had an irregular ago, pap. Yeah, I was they, like, what the hell is this? And yeah, they, now that they just four it's years? better to let you die. Yeah. It's absurd. Mm-hmm. Yeah, also, no, because also, you, like, it, you will die. You if you go to the if you get a pap and then two months later you got HPV and w- weren't going for four more years and you got like the sev- like heavy cancer causing HPV, you're, you're fucked. And like and you don't know. So I had I had both. I had the outside warts and then I had the inside cells. Yeah. Obviously I saw the ward. I'm like, what's that? And they're like, that's a ward. I'm like, kill me now. And then after the warts went away, whatever, then I they did the, oh now you have cancer inside. I'm like what do you mean the inside? What's going on in there? So like you can have the inside and not even fucking know you have anything inside. Yeah, you you feel the inside. Feel anything. There's you have to have a pap. Women a fuck the four year thing. Every woman needs to go I, you once insist. a fucking year. And you by the way, they to. will take you if you insist. You I don't have know if to HMOs go. or like whatever, if it's like they're not gonna what the prices would be, but like I insist. I go like I no, I'm not gonna do it. I have an HMO and I ask for stuff and they give it to me and they cover it. Yeah. Well, there you go. Also, but, you have a like, but yeah. you have to. I've heard you that have the, to be proactive. I've heard that the thing that you have to do is ask for something, and then if the doctor says no, say I want you to document me asking for this and you saying no, and then they'll be like, "Okay, well, we'll give you the thing." Oh, okay. yeah, they, no, like, but if you get if you get cancer, you can sue their fucking sue nuts the off shit for oh, refusing to let yeah. you be tested for it. Yeah, huh? How are you now? You good? How long? Oh ago yeah, was no, it? this was uh, ten years. I'm ten years clean. Yeah, great. I know. You know what's interesting is that there's not a cure, but uh, I that your body can clear it out. Well, In here's years, the thing. I heard. There, so there's okay. So it was, they do say there are things. So when I got it, I was fucking bad. I was bawling my eyes out. I I like didn't whatever. Anyways, long, I think I've told this story many times on the podcast. Long story short, I took this cream that's a like cream for um, skin cancer, and it had the reverse effect. So my pussy blew up, and I had like third degree open wounds. I put, they thought I had herpes on top of warts. Three doctors came in and went. Ooh, what? And I was like, Ugh! like, it was a fucking, I couldn't sit on my bike. I couldn't work. It was fucked for months. For It was Your insane. Your fucking skin. No, my pussy, my skin's fucked. My pussy went, just, it bleached, it went bleached because it bleached my skin. Well, so I had like a white, I had, like a, I had a Michael Jackson pussy for like, literally for like. Do you have any more of that? I want to put it yeah. right in my No, little. it was. They, then what happened? So I went back to the doctor and they were like, we have to get you off this cream immediately. They discontinued it at my doctor's office. Like we will never, ever, they, they were so apologetic. They're like, we are so sorry. I went online and looked all the reviews. My skin is burnt. I have open wounds. Like fucked. They should not have given this skin cream to me. So Basically it was supposed to like probably burn, burn off the war. But guess what? It burned whatever it is. It burned it out of me. So it yeah. fucking got rid of the HPV and it said if you start working out a lot. So I immediately started training for a half marathon and I fucking, I was running like 19K three times a week. I was crazy. I was like, I want it out of me. Too. Diet. And I was like, I'm not fucking having this in my body. HPV is leaving right fucking now. So I did all this crazy shit and it's, it's gone. I haven't had it since. But, it, but, but, it, but, but was fuck. it worth it? Was it worth what I went through? No. No. It was like, P- picture them thinking I had herpes on top of warts. That's how bad. So like it brought more warts out. So at first when I went in, I had one wart. One. And I was like, what's that? They're like, it's a wart. Do you want to burn it off? Do you want to scream? I'm like, mm, I want the cream. And then I went back and they're like, oh, that's a l-. It was like, it was disgusting. It was like, call you, it was fucking fuck. Oh. I, can't, I had a boyfriend at the time too. Like it was, we had to buy a vibrator because I'm like, he can't touch me. I can't touch him. Like it was disgusting. It was a year of my life of hell. And then finally, all the warts, everything finally healed. And then I go in for a checkup and they're like, and now we must remove it. It's cancerous now. And I'm like, <laughs> what? 
what? Like I was like, it was insane. I was like, Brandon can happen how so quickly I even, that like it happened quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It happened all within like a year. But I kept going in like. And you had a boyfriend three, at this time? Mm-hmm, like three years in total. I think the whole had thing. Had he ever lasted. had sex with anyone else? He was my third person I had sex with. He, so that's the thing, and I'm, like, I'm, I'm a raging whore now, but I'm like, I had, uh, I, I think, oh, yeah, I, no. I think I got it from him, the guy that I got chlamydia from my first boyfriend, from the first person I knew I had sex a girl like, first boyfriend, first person I had sex I with. I knew a girl who got genital warts from the first person she ever had sex with. It's wild. This was the third guy I had sex with, and I'm like, and he had no symptoms, so I'm not blaming him. He didn't fucking no, know he got it. But that's the fucked up thing mm-hmm. is, like, a guy can just, it's like they yep. could have, they, they're walking around carrying cancer in their dick. Yep, and they have are. No idea. No idea. Unless they get a, a an outbreak, they have no fucking clue. They have no clue. They'll it never is- know. There's no yes. way of test. I, th- I think there is a way of testing now on men. There is like a blood so. thing or something. But there they is have a way. to uh, go do the test. Yeah, they're not going to do that. Uh, like, yeah, why would they if they don't have symptoms? Because they don't think about it. And then men I, like, will have symptoms and not go to the doctor. Also, men don't care. Like, I would, right after I had this, I was like, okay, yeah, I had to tell every man now I have HPV. And like, okay. L- literally, the first guy I told him, like, we're about to have sex. And I go, oh, I need a condom. And he's like, I don't have any. I go, well, I have HPV. And he's like, what's that? And I was like, okay. And then I it went into detail. And he's like, okay, so what's the worst that will happen to me? I'm like, you can get a war in your deck. Anyway. You'll give All right. women cancer. And he, we fucked. It was, no one cared. I, I told like five men afterwards. And they were like, okay. I'm like, all right. Like, also, the worst part about it, fucking um, HPV is condom, no condom. It does not matter. It's around the base it of the It lives balls. in the sheets. It lives, it's like around, and this is the so fucked. It, it's all into, all the way down to your boxer shorts area now is how bad it, it is. like. That's what my, my doctor in Canada told me. She's like, Wait, there could that. just be like cells that you don't even see? Yep. Oh, yeah. So if, even if you're riding your boyfriend and you have underwear on and he has fucking boxers on, you can still get it. So We've get been guard talking out. about HPV for a half an hour. Well, this is slobs. What do you want from us? <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on. I also talk about HPV all the time. I just feel like, like I'm care. the voice of of how much time has passed. I feel like I've adopted that role the in the group of being like... <laughs> Let's go it's on to something like... In a half an hour. Well, also, I like talking about this because I mean, it's, it's like... It's, it's, it's very important and you should fucking yeah. know. But yeah. I'm saying, uh, you have to get tested once a, once a year. I don't give yeah. a fuck if you have a clean pap. It can be irregular. You must go back. Fuck the system. Go back and be like, I'm getting my it's fucking also, pussy scrapped around. You could have a clean pap and like the cells just haven't changed yet. But yeah. They're in the process yes. so that it doesn't get picked up. Yeah. Like you exactly. always have to go and this is making me actually realize I am overdue for one. So thank God we had this conversation. But to go back to like the lighthearted part of like, oh my God, it's a miracle. We, nothing else. Worse. Whatever. I'm just thinking about like those threesomes and those things. And it's like, there's a big part of me who I th- like, I think I could see myself being someone who just for life is just someone who's like, yeah, I just go out and I like, and doesn't settle down. And I don't know if that's just the breakup talking. It's the breakup talking. That's you're saying this, talking. you're going to, I guarantee you by the end of the summer, you're going to meet somebody up until I he, guarantee. How do you know me so well, even though you haven't known me that long? <laughs> you fucked up your relationship. You were happily in a monogamous relationship mm-hmm. yeah. until he started acting out outside of your relationship. Yeah. You are happily in a monogamous relationship. Mm-hmm. And you weren't thinking of any which of Which means you are capable of being happily in a monogamous yeah. relationship for years, for yeah, almost three but years. but that mm-hmm. doesn't mean that I need to be in a monogamous relationship No, you don't need shit. Happy. No, absolutely no. not. And there is a part of me that sometimes wonders, is my tendency to lean toward that more comes from like the trauma of wanting someone and like uh, self- is some type of like self worth because I'm being accepted by someone and also social norms. Yeah, and also the fact that uh, you know, like is I checking get the, the thing, box like, of being like I have a boyfriend and I have my career is going well. I'm doing I it all. I think mm-hmm. so like, though, why is that because all? you just were happy, and I think that people who are polyamorous, which is another option, mm. are okay with. I don't want that. No, I don't want that. Okay. I don't want to be in multiple committed relationships. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm yeah, saying yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, that's a lot. In my mind, I'm like, <laughs> I don't do relationships. But maybe that's just who I wish I could be because it'd be easier. I think there's just like a psychological thing of like, imagine if you could somehow make yourself not want it, you know? And I, I, I don't know how to do that because I'm trying to do that right now. Yeah, to just I'm go. I'm really <laughs> trying to be like, yeah, I you don't know have what? Time. I, I don't have time. I also don't need it. Like, there's I, always I like, the part of you that's like, but then I see friends who have babies and I see like, you know, my friends going with couples and dates and like stories of their boyfriend and traveling. And I'm like, hmm. I'll be the baby. I've never traveled with anybody. I'm wildly alone, you know, stuff like that. But I'm like, then I'm like, then there are nights where I'm having like crazy three thumbs or like we're sitting on some guy's face. I'm like, well, yeah, that was fun. Yeah. But then I was like, well. I'm... You sat on Thor's face. <laughs> yeah, Maybe. We yeah. don't know. We'll never know. She was blocked. Just, it could have been Thor. Was hot. Um, <laughs> he was, was very blocked. He's like, I don't want. He's going to watch me on Netflix. I really like, like being in a relationship, but it is work and you do give stuff up you know yeah and i just wonder sometimes i'm like is that energy that i put into that or would put into that actually better spent 
somewhere else for now for sure for oh now, yeah. yeah for now of course yeah. this is hot girl summer for you you're about to get your labia removed from someone's mouth you're you're getting it sucked off all your all your holes are going to be bone dry by the end of the summer i'm not touching anyone until at least fourth of july no you don't have to be touched you that can lie there and they can come and touch you <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. that is very soon yeah yeah, yeah, wait, that's a month. Okay, actually, month. two weeks. Dude. I'm yeah, yeah. going, no, you know what? I, yeah, wait, that's, that's, it's too close. <laughs> it's tomorrow. I'm going, saying. I'm going to go solo, me, lean in, like, this is what I want to do. So we'll see how much I hold in up of this. But like over the top, corny, like eat, pray, love, level of self-love until my birthday. Do you want to okay. hear something just to like so annoying and gross? Really build those habits that I haven't let myself build. Yeah. So I feel like if I lean in for I want to hear it. I just want to finish my thought. Yeah. If I lean in for a couple weeks and just like obsessively do it, mm-hmm. then it will become a thing where I don't have to go. I have to make time. I have to be better about this where I'll just wake up and I'll have my green smoothie and I'll go for my hike. Yeah. And I won't go. Oh, I got it. I, I have to find time for the hike. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I want to just overcompensate for a little while to build the like, cause I do have a tendency to like get codependent and go, what, what do you like? What's, what's good for you in a relationship? So having that, like, no, these are the things I definitely do. Yeah. I do them all the time. Like established for myself that I don't like draw a line on. Yeah. Does that makes sense. Yes, it does. And you should, you tell me what you were going to say. I have a prediction. Uh Uh-oh. And maybe I'll be right and maybe I'll be wrong. But I predict that you will be ready to hook up with another guy before you find another guy you want to hook up with. Oh, I mean, Mm -hmm. for sure. I've had, I mean, I've had flare-ups of thoughts of horniness. Yeah. I I definitely like, yeah. No, I've been like, hey, what about this guy? And then, but that's what I realized is like, I think I need to take, like, force myself to have more time. Because mm-hmm. I've had thoughts like, hey, I, that guy, I'd fuck that guy. And then like on the second, like a few days later or like a little while later, like re-examining, I go, no, that's I was just trying the, to fill a hole. That's yeah, what yeah, the yeah, annoying yeah, thing yeah, is, yeah, is yeah. even if you just want to hook up, you have to find someone who's good enough to hook up with. That's the other thing too, is like, I don't want, if I'm going to hook up, I want it to be like fun. I want, it's like. Yeah, you don't want it to make you fucking feel bad about yourself. I don't want to have some like sad boy can't fuck I, I'm almost like no look, no 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 no. you cannot have a you cannot have a not working penis and I'll tell you right now good luck trying to find one that works out there right now I, I hate to be the bearer of the news of the right. world but guess what a lot of them don't work anymore I also, they've stopped yeah uh, well I mean how is it you age? need to put is a, it the, it's, they're taking those hair loss it's everything pills? it's heroin addicts, heroin and hair loss it's, it's hair, it's hair that's loss that's a podcast I don't know what it is it's everybody it's every age they didn't work Tony does your penis work then Tony's fuck Tony 25 years old <laughs> Gibbon <laughs> let's, let's bring in his ex-girlfriends to corroborate yeah yeah yeah, yeah 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 current yeah, yeah, girlfriends yeah. Let's, uh, <laughs> that's a game show does his let's dick work let's bring them in this man says his dick works fine Kelly up first you know what I think it is I think yeah, until like you're right but i think my maybe rule for myself is like unless someone who i find very attractive is like aggressively pursuing me i'm not i'm like i'm not making moves how aggressive not aggressive sounds aggressive yeah it does but is is really showing up and being like i just I'm wanted really to make sure it this. wasn't like 50s grandpa level of aggressive where a like, lot of people asked yeah. her out again and again yeah, and, and again like, and finally yeah. she gave up yeah, but you know what? Romantic. grandpa never hell. left grandma he stayed by her he side. He just hit her a shitload, but she couldn't own well. property or make her own money. <laughs> I'm she not stayed. Own Isn't that property. romantic? They held hands until the grave finally freed her. Yeah. Uh, I I, I have an opposite opinion here. I think you should go f- go fucking. I should pursue. Summer. I should go. I, I, no, I just think you, I just think you should fuck. Just fuck. You need to get some fucks out of the way. Yeah. And guess what? There's gonna be a lot of bad ones. So I just think you should. You just, think I need to just like get them out of the way? Yes. I think you should get on. I think it'll on... make you miss Andy. I think it'll make you sad. If it's a sad fuck. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be bad. I think There's, my first one I had a sad way. fuck after a breakup, bald on his kitchen floor. This was years and years ago, and I was shit-faced. But I still bald on his kitchen floor. It was oh, you very bald. Depressing. Oh, try having him he bald. He stepped over me and said, Jesus Christ, and went to the bathroom. <laughs> this was someone well, I like, knew for years. Very what a dick. Yeah, yeah, he was an asshole. I he was an yeah. asshole, which was why I was crying about having fucked him. I was like, I can't believe I just fucked him. Good or bad, I needed to be someone who can pick me up. I can't fuck a... Sm- Physically my, or emotionally? Yeah, no. Uh, yeah. no well, not, he, the, here's the thing. Trust me, there's not... The strongest men in the world could not pick me up emotionally. <laughs> you need I to am. leave Los Angeles because every man here is four foot one and yeah, they don't have a penis. Let's go so, where cowboys are. Sorry. Let's go <laughs> to Montana. Let's Ooh, go let's go to, to Montana. Yeah, and just fuck some... Yeah, let's go to Montana. Let's, 
I we think go- that your vision of a Montana man might be better than the reality There's of a like Montana There's like three hot guys in Alaska. We could go there. someone who has had Tinder on in rural areas, okay. the men are more spread out. There is mathematically less to choose from. That's not to say anything hateful to any of our I didn't say he had to have a nice face. But- I said he had to be able to pick me up and fuck mm-hmm. me. Mm-hmm. Okay. And have a working penis. These that, are a lot. Uh, you're asking almost too much. <sighs> Do your right. political, political views have to match your political views? Absolutely not. Also, fuck me like you hate liberals. Fuck me like well, a then you're good then because oh, there's yeah, a lot. No, I'm, lot. I don't have to spend time with you. Hate what I believe in. Yeah. No. Oh, but don't hate women. Well, you know, don't well, get abused. Well, well, you do. Hate them enough. Trump. Do you want to like, get picked yeah, up and fucked? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want them to respect yeah. women? Hate them enough to make me come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Man, you I'm, ain't gonna get votes. Sorry. Yeah, no. uh, uh, men who like sorry. deep you in their core. Want someone who's read Emily Dickinson or someone who can pick you up? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah no, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. the kind of man who would be emotionally soothing that just loves women and is deeply respectful. Can we see if I respectful. can pick you up? I feel like I could pick you, you up. You can definitely pick her up. I don't... Okay, we're going to see. I, 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 I'll I'll talk about it. I'll explain it. Least gay way for me. To... I mean, not the... Sh- <laughs> uh, well, under the shoulders. I'm no, no, no. Bulky. Okay, it's... like that. That's a weird way. I, th- I figured you'd go around the waist. You went like above the breast. It was a very strange it's way. That's like how I would want to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What if a, 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 yeah, yeah, a yeah. man fucked me like that? He's yeah, got yeah. me under the breast? Why a guy pick a lady? Well, I mean, this way. Yeah, forward way. Okay. And then it's this. Yeah, it's this. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's good. This is kind of hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want my dead weight? If you, I mean, yeah, this would be perfect. You guys would fuck perfectly. Look at this. This is very cute. Aw, carried her car. What a that sweet thing I just watched. That is very reassuring because eventually. Uh, that was the easiest thing I've ever done. Yeah, my back you didn't even work. strain. Huh. Tomorrow, she's like, I can't get up. <laughs> she's incredibly like, I feel like you should pick her up right now. We could all just pick. Listen, I think I can pick. Both we gotta you. practice picking me up because eventually I will be relying on you guys to carry me out to stage from my chair that I refuse to <laughs> wheel out in. Oh, Tony, make God. a make a make a mark. That's the clip for this week. Uh, no, no, I think we'll just get like a slip and slide and just oil you up and just push <laughs> you out. out. Yeah, yeah, Good evening. You up. And here she comes. <laughs> this is we wet. Get her I would kind love of, that. I'm picturing a bedazzled electric scooter for you that also has like. Like army tank things around the thing oh, where you fun. can tank up a couple stairs. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Get you yeah. fixed up with something cool. That's where the GoFundMe was. Oh, going. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. you can just get up like a whole set of stairs. We'll get wow. you some good pills. Yeah. We'll yeah. get you yeah. a bidet. Yeah. We're going to rhinestones on it. I have a mm-hmm. whole vision. We're going to get you set great. up just fine. Uh, yeah. Thank God. Yeah. Country music is going to play. Get you, no. I'll tell you what we're going to get you is a big pair of sunglasses. It's going to be a whole look. I'm going to be a, they're yeah. going to be like, she's so Hollywood. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Here she comes again. We're gonna get you, do you know what we're going to get you? We're going to get you a little Stephen Hawking voice box to talk for mm-hmm. you. And it's going to be so fucking funny because you're going to do your opener with that. And then you're just going to talk. Gonna be like, yeah, 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 I'm yeah, just yeah, fucking you know around what? with you guys. I do need deep, the chair, but I don't need that box. Can no, I tell you guys great. a deep, like worst case scenario fear of mine is that there are joints around your uh, vocal cords and if those collapse I'm fine. well that doesn't need to be I, here because anyway, well, there aren't. I'm going to be taken care of I don't want to tell you something that's, this is going to make it go very dark and I'm so sorry uh, Lou Gehrig's disease there was a comedian in Toronto and she got it in her throat and it's a nightmare and but she that's could not, not what talk. she has no you're not, you don't have that but I'm no. just saying that that is a possibility and I hate to put that in your head but it, well, I think yeah, there are time. things that can make it so that people can't talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but you know. don't have them. No, you don't have, don't have them. No, you, you're just going to yeah. be covered in cysts. I'm not going to be covered in cysts. Yes, I am gonna you're going to have gross hands. No, she has arthritis. She's not going to be covered in cysts. Well, if, this, I mean, if the lining here, it's... it's. But Tony has that. He doesn't have arthritis. It also, like, rheumatoid nodules become a thing, and they're like, they come out See? here. She's My hands are going to turn into this. Maybe not. Oh, well, if you I get don't a couple think so. Throat, Maybe there are things on an no. iPad you can press the button and it'll be like pizza, and you can you can, it's fine. Oh yeah, thank God, I'll have all, all my needs met. Oh, it yeah, also be has words and stuff comment. you can type shit out and then press play. Can and you it'll imagine say stuff. my opening act? The future of prop comedy. Pizza and the crowd's like pizza, pizza lady. Yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah, saying yeah. that's the only thing it says. Do you think I'm saying that's the only thing it says? It is on for me. What else do I need? Pizza, wipe my ass. If you want. Sis. Order hot, if you want to order a to hot get... dog at Costco, are you going to want a voice thing that only says pizza? No, Didn't think has... so. And do you I like, feel like the you hot really dogs nailed at Costco? Me. You yeah. also are going to need it to say hot dog. Yeah, she also what did want a hot Costco dog. Costco foods. That's we went to Costco the other day. You wanted pizza, the hot dog. hot dog. Chicken bake. Oh, she's mixing it up. Oh. Smoothie. She can't eat whole foods anymore. I worked with young adults and many of them were nonverbal and we went to Costco and they ordered food by themselves. That's and you beautiful. will too, little buddy. Oh, look at Aww. this. Oh, I can't wait for you to 
I'm you, oh thank you grow up grow, grow up 40 <laughs> it could, not this is gonna happen you can't wait for yeah. her to be ravaged by her <laughs> it's, disease it's, it's, go, it's not this is gonna happen looking That's forward to it it's now. not making fun one. of it it's, it's very mild gonna I don't think it's gonna happen it's moving very slowly yeah, so I think you're fine I could, it is gonna be fine yeah it could yeah. be years before I even really anyone can see anything yeah, yeah. so yeah that's the good thing. But I like, you know, it's like that thing that you and I talked about where I'm like, sometimes you got to look under the bed. If you're afraid of the monster, you got to look under the bed. Follow the fear through to its conclusion. What's the scariest thing? Mm -hmm. Okay, what would we do? My future hands. I don't know. Solve it. We'd be fine. Yeah, we'll be fine. By that point, there might be like uh, other hands you can put on your hands that have been made. New hands. New hands. Worst case scenario, new hands bedazzled wheelchair. Why in God's name did you get Edward Scissorhands hands surgically put on (laughs) for your new hands? Like, I don't know. I just thought I wanted to mix it up. this isn't any better. Scratches all over your face. Have you ever seen? Um, I'm shouting at my own sketch. I did a sketch years ago where I lost an arm and I had a fake penis as my arm, dick arm. And I then have not I, seen this, and this is so funny. It's the funny sketch, but it's so old. It looks so bad. And then I, my friend came back years later. I, go, I went. I finally got the surgery. If you want to come see, she's like, "Oh my god, you got rid of it." I'm like, "Mm-hmm." And she comes, and I just got a bigger dick put on it. I, just, I was going to say, <laughs> "Is it a bigger dick?" Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it, 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 it's a bigger dick. Yeah, of course. I I mean, we got the that. Latin kings. She doesn't know how to write oh a fucking God. joke. Of course, yeah, yeah, I, I mean, want to make sketches. Answer. I want to make more sketches. Let's well, yeah, it. we have the one of you coming out of the little my little closet. Yeah, we, she's Potter a little closet. closet. We want her to come out of it. Like, and she's a roommate. Why have we not done sketches with you as a baby? I had no idea you were so easy to hold. Let's do it. Well, this is real. Let's go baby lady adult diapers and start to do baby lady, and then I'll meet somebody. Oh, people we'll be like real that. Me. Oh, people like diaper shit for sure. There's definitely some weird baby stuff. We could stuff. today find you someone who wants to put you in a diaper and fuck you. For money? Have you seen those weird, there's a weird one where it's like a baby fantasy where you yeah, come over me. and you get changed and stuff. And you're like, my mommy, my, my, my baby. And they're in the crib. <sighs> it's for sick. It's adults. I don't know where I saw it on. It's like a weird sickness. I feel like Steve, it's really bad. Uh, Steven, fuck, what is his last name? Chelsea Skidmore's husband. Oh, Randolph. He has a story that he's told on stage about really? like showing up to someone who was into that. Like, oh, yeah. He's got some dark I stories. I want to hear that. it. That's what yeah. wild. Did he sexually entertain it? I don't know. I think he did put on like a diaper. I don't know. He, it's, oh, he's got God. some funny ass stories. Uh, from, ew. ew. Yeah, but it's just. Like that. Yeah, I'm like, ew. Unless it's for money. I guess I could be a baby for money. It's just, I won't fuck you, but I'll be a baby for money. I don't think I've ever had anything, no. I had a guy that would make me tell Sorry, him I'm stories. I'm still on the list. No, he said, I'm not making this horrified. He said, I'll be a baby for money. And I was like, no, that's <laughs> not. Do the feet thing before the money. The I will do the thing. feet thing. Who yeah, wants I a don't feel like sample? we've taken the feet through to it. Oh, 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 little, oh that's a tease. That's, that's 10 cents. That's a cute little foot. That's 10 cents. That's a cute little foot. Get it out of our frame yeah. now. Let's not do yeah, that. Yeah, we don't want to do that. We don't need to do that. Yeah, it'll cost that. you. That's going on that uh, pa- Patreon only. Mm-hmm. Patreon right. only. Do we have Patreon? No, we don't. We it's should. just my feet. We should have. I started a, a Patreon behind a Patreon your back. Patreon and it's just feet clips. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know yeah. what? Feet clips and baby sketches and other sketches. That's it. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. I like that. <laughs> you would actually <laughs> have a Patreon. Yeah, just yeah, yeah. JMS with like her feet and in a diaper and we take a cut. We're like our gross pimps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I'll do it. I'll take the photos. <laughs> That's, uh, it's, you gotta, edit oh yeah, I'll contribute yeah. in some way and then I won't feel bad about taking Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let me step on your You can style them. Belongings. You can uh, like style. put like paint things around them. Toes, yeah. I'll paint your little toes. Oh, we can put them in fun little areas like the like the Ann Gettys, you know, the baby photos where it's like oh, in like cabbage. We can do that with your so feet. Funny, we should absolutely do an Just Ann Gettys, Gettys photo foot- shoot with your Candace feet. Candy Thompson it's already so did one. Oh, she like, did. With feet? Yeah. God damn Not it. with just feet. No, with feet it's fine. Oh. She did a full. It was the funniest thing I've ever seen. Was it her as like, a baby? I wish that like. I like, would, I would love, love to, to have done one. I would love to be like, can we do it as a, a an series? Photo shoot. But like, yeah, where we're just in child pose naked. I'm so pissed someone else thought of that first. Uh, I, I think it's so funny with the feet. The feet, yeah, little baby baby feet. Just, just your feet around weird things. Uh, people would uh, people would like it. Should we make a Patreon? Do you guys want feet stuff? Do I you mean, want sketches? Regardless of. Do you want just the full video response, episodes up there? I think it's yeah. Oh. That's an easy thing to release, maybe. That we can do. Tony blows his head off behind the glass. He's like, it is absolutely not easy to release. Go fuck yourself. Well, now that we figured out uh, my future savings plan. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're fine. Okay, so you're happy in a relationship. We're going to go. Uh, fuck I've written strangers. men off. I'm done. I told you, the, I've deleted the apps. We're done right now. We, we mustn't. We cannot. All right, we're doing self care summer. <laughs> self care summer. I still want to get fucked, though. I still want to get laid. And then we're getting I fucked. I still want to do the fun stuff fucked you fall. guys do, just minus the part where you have sex with people who aren't my boyfriend. Yeah, come out. You can come out with us and watch us desperately yeah. try to hit on men in public. <laughs> Yeah. No. Yeah. Problem. Yeah. When's well, our next trip? We, she we, just we pops gotta... in. She's like, 
hey guys, it's got to say, we've been talking about you guys fucking for about 30 minutes now. <laughs> she does the same thing. We got to do an outing. Let's go somewhere. Let's, Let's have a go girls' somewhere. night. We got a girls' night. We should do a, like a fancy, there's like a, apparently a really good singles bar in Santa Monica. That I was just going to say, let's go to, let's go to new places. Let's be like, I haven't tried this place. Oh my God, I live little in Culver City. You little... guys are never in my part of town. I would it's love to go to Santa Monica. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, we're going to go. We're going out there. And we are going to challenge you guys to also put yourselves out there. Where are we, we are, we're doing... if you're hot and tall. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't Come. have to be that tall. Yeah, yeah. No, we want tall. No, we want tall. We want tall. Okay. I want tall. You can take... People get mad at me if, if I say I want tall. Same, and I don't give a crap. I go tall, at least five, six. You know, <laughs> how long have we done now? I feel like this episode people do nine get hours. mad at short women wanting tall men. Yeah, because there's it's a numbers Dave's game. Sister is tall, and he said that she gets pissed off about that. Oh yeah, I dated a six foot four guy once, and I would get the looks I would get. Yeah, where I was like, this must be what people in interracial couples. Feel. I'm just kidding. Can you, <laughs> can you imagine? Um, yeah. Thank uh, you so much for saying you're kidding. Uh, yeah, I was like, I was. Uh, I was a, I t- I'm sorry if I already told you this story on the podcast. I dated an Indian guy in college and one time we were walking past a couple and it was an Indian woman with a white man and he watched her walk by and he's like, and he said out loud, what is she doing with that guy? <gasps> and what? I was like, I am that guy. What do you mean? What do you mean? What is she doing with that guy? You're oh, with a white person. Oh he's like, my yeah, gosh. I don't know. It's just, it's weird. And I was like, what? Huh. Great. Good. That is so crazy that huh. I the, think a person who didn't know you might not believe it. Yeah, no, it was the most like, insane that thing. Is That's wild. Unbelievable. We dated for nine months and he didn't say I love you. And I was like, well, I'm out. That's too long. How, that's a long at, wait, time. What? No, at, when long. did you say you loved him? Did you say it before that? Yeah. When, I don't when? know when. A couple, few months in. Probably. Yeah, a normal amount of time. Uh-huh. Yeah. Never said it. No. And I was like, he's like, I just, I'm not ready. And I was like, well, bye. Well, then I'm you... not yeah. waiting. See ya, see ya. Sucker. He's a doctor. He's married. He's fine. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he's not a doctor. He's a pharmacist. He might Couldn't be, get into medical he school. might be a doctor and married, but he might still be emotionally unavailable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Can't he might be married to a woman who is getting breadcrumbs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No. I gotta tell you, sex. Also was bad. So well, I mean, that's yeah, number no one. Shit, the sex was bad. He couldn't tell you. You think he said I, nine fucking months? I love you on the first date to that woman. <laughs> he's yeah, like, yeah, I love yeah. you. Is that enough? Please don't go. <laughs> Please don't go. Oh no, toads. Yeah, that's the guy that I used to. Whatever, whatever matter. you break up with, though, the guy is bringing that into the next relationship. That's like, important to remember. It's always this negative fantasy that people have when they break up with someone. That he's oh, what if it's good with her? What if he loved her? I bet he told her he loved her. Like, no, she just put up with the same shit that you did not put up with. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. I think about that too. Where I'll be like, I hope oh. he improved. I hope he went to therapy. I hope he's available to give and receive love. I fucking highly yeah, doubt but it. It's, even, no. even if all that's true, like, he's still fucking the same. Yeah. You don't get better at fucking. Unless you make a concerted effort. One time mm-hmm. I was dating a guy and he, incidentally also an Indian guy, and he told me that he's bad at sex and I believed him and never had sex with him. Oh, That's wow. That's so funny. Then I will not be having sex oh. with you. Wow, How good for bad you. must a man be at sex? Is to admit to say that, he's bad? that he's bad at sex? Do you I was think like, his move was like, say no I say more. I'm bad? And then they're blown away. Yeah, 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 and then yeah, he yeah, never, yeah. He's like, no, I wait, think that his I've never move was to say that he was bad and then to be bad. Yeah, because it's like it wouldn't be like I'm a terrible driver. Let me drive. No, he that's was, weird. he was bad at kissing. Why would he be okay, fucking good kissing. at sex? Oh yeah, it's people. You got to be able. It's to like, also not that hard to be good at sex. You have to. It listen. really isn't. I don't know. The things that turn me on are like connection, feeling safe. A little bit of eye contact, some mm-hmm. laughter, mm-hmm. and that's a lot more than some people can give. Yeah, depends on the moment for me. I what I'm think, looking, for. I don't know. Sex is not just like a physical e- equation for. It is for me sometimes. Sometimes it there's is a type me. of sex that's like that. That like it's a deeper connection, and I totally resonate with what you're saying. Yeah, and there's some people that I'm like the worst thing you could possibly do right now is now is look me in the eye. Okay, no, I literally sometimes I want to be just fuck me like a dirty yeah. whore. Like that, a dirty rag, huh. a dirty, like dusty in a, rag. in a bathroom at a sh- disgusting bar. Yeah, I've done that I'm, before. I'm unavailable yeah. for that. Oh, it's the, and I'm just like, oh yeah. I, and I, I don't know what that is I in my it's psyche. Fine. I wish, no, nah, I don't. I think that's in the past, I have wished that that did anything for me. Because that's the thing is, even when I'm in between relationships, like I can't just have sex. I just can't do it. Yeah. I wish. I I have, I think now I'm so detached from sex that I just like, if I do have an emotional, emotional connection with somebody, I'm like, oh, this is. It's it's it, <laughs> it freaks me out. I did. Yeah, yeah. I I had one. I think that's how I'm gonna January, be for a while. You know, freaked me I'm out. Afraid of it. Oh yeah, freaked me out. I was like, I'm like, I've never had a connection like this with a guy in like years. Like it was like so sensual, and I was like, 
um, okay, well, bye. And he's like, oh, do you not want to get brunch? I'm like, no, you have to leave now. And he was like, I, he was like, trying to date you. you? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, and, <laughs> yeah. You know, then he goes to me and then I called him out and guess what? He but maybe he goes to you because he was like, she's obviously not that into me. Oh, no, he was a lot. It's fine. Because you didn't want to go to brunch. He's like, she doesn't want to be. But it's like, I, I, I was like so weird that I was like, I, I'm so not used to like a man like. That you ran. It's like ah. I, I was like, I came to this, and he's like, I really want to take you brunch. I'm like, I can't look at you right now. Yeah, because you're like, I, well, then you must leave. If I go to brunch and then you ghost me, it's like then it's more emotional. It's too much. That's problem. Like, so I just, I just have, a, I have my fucking, my toad is going. Crazy right now, my hands are so I gotta set up my hands. Oh no, you need um, calamine lotion. No, I don't think it works. Uh, I think I just I push him away now. I'm like, I can't even allow a man in. I'm like, no. When a guy, a guy stepped over like a month ago, I'm like, you're sleeping over? He's like, should I go? I'm like, Ugh. I mean, I guess you can sleep over. And I was like, annoyed. I'm like, what am I doing? I'm like, a man wants to sleep over with me, and I'm wildly pissed off at him. Yeah, no, it's no, like I get being avoided. I get that though, because you like to fart in bed and you have your moment. Yeah, when I've been fart. single for a long time, like you get to your, it, it's You're very hard yeah, to yeah, let yeah, someone yeah, yeah. break into my space. I and totally like, get that. Yeah, I yeah. sleep in the mid, like because you expect you're used to like after the date being able to let your hair down and relax yeah, and yeah, be yeah, yourself yeah, yeah. and not have someone else in your space. A sleepover is a thing. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a, a whole, whole thing. thing. I'll, whole thing. I. It, yeah, it's like you have to change around your routine because now there's a person. And I'm even like, even now, sometimes, like the last bed. week or something, or maybe even this week, Dave was like, I'm in Culver City. I'm like at, at a show with my, like, should I stop by? And I kind of was like, mm. not really tonight. Like, I yeah. just didn't want to have to put forth. I was tired. I didn't want to have to put forth the eff- extra effort. Yeah. Because you do and feel that's like okay. you have to be, even yeah. when yeah, you're yeah, in a long yeah. relationship, there yeah. is that little part of like, yeah. you got to be a little on or feel like, keep the whatever yeah allure alive so you're like hey, i just want to like yeah do a puzzle and fart on my couch it's also like i'll know that's exactly what i wanted i know, to do. <laughs> I know. that's exactly you love your puzzle. what i wanted to do i wanted yeah. to kiss my cat so much I and remember. yeah dave doesn't i don't want to say he doesn't let me puzzle when he's over but he doesn't like to be ignored for me to <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for you to be yeah, like no no yeah, no yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, one yeah. corner away and he's I, like yeah oh, okay. I can't I can't puzzle puzzling's a by it's myself activity, solo activity. yeah it seems like it's puzzle. unless, he, fall, never, unless never, he falls never. asleep he fell asleep early the other night and finished you're like, my puzzle really this got is excited. like where a disgusting man would be like she passed out and I went and jerked off just something like you're like yeah. it's puzzled got a question about puzzling and it was yeah. time question about puzzling you do the puzzle once you have it all done yeah how long do you leave it there to take it? I in? take a picture of it. Now I take a picture of it. I didn't used to. I take a picture of it. I put it on my puzzles highlights on my Instagram. I put it in my story. And then I undo all of the pieces, which I also enjoy. Really? It's a sensory thing for wow. me. Yeah. Really? I cannot believe I do not have an autism diagnosis at this point in my life. Like I, it, pisses me off have you just gone to a doctor have you asked i went to a therapist, therapist and she said that she wasn't the kind of person who could diagnose me with that but i haven't asked a psychiatrist because i'm like huh. good on my pills and stuff well if you want to talk to trish <laughs> but anyway <laughs> the sensory like the pleasure of undoing the pieces yeah. i also very much enjoy so i undo and these are a thousand piece puzzles and i undo all of the pieces put them back put away that's it and now where's this puzzle now? you keep the puzzles you give it to somebody else what happens to the puzzle I you keep, pass on I the have puzzles a, an enormous puzzle c- collection you ever have you redone you puzzles? You do puzzles yeah i was gonna ask that. i have redone puzzles do you time them no you know what okay. there's probably other people shut that door there's probably out. other people that do this and there should be like a puzzle you know those things you've seen those things in, in neighborhoods where it's like little like take a book yes 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 you should have that for puzzles i think it's a two, it or there should be a puzzle dirty community. though it's fingers there's a lot of I touching think often about what That's to do scary. with my puzzles because they also have missing pieces some of them have missing pieces so i wouldn't want to resell them but i i'm such a hoarder when i do a puzzle i'm like do i frame this yeah like (laughs) yeah that's why i'm like i I don't think i've ever i don't i've never owned a puzzle in my life i've never once been like i "Hmm." don't want to get rid of them i like them i do redo them sometimes and i like love having them but i i I don't know that's good can't i like like? collect them yeah like people People collect shit all the time like books Mm-hmm. Yeah, so yeah, I, I mean, feel like I should be able to keep I collect my, my concert tickets. Dave is yeah. constantly trying to get, not constantly, but he often tries to get me to resell my puzzles or donate them or you're not do like, them again. You're I'm not. Like, he thinks I think that he thinks that it's wasteful, and I'm like, dude, this is like my like your happy. This thing. is yeah. my hobby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. It's also like not like you're hoarding puzzles and have aisles in your house like a hoarder because it's so, stuff, yeah. so many puzzles. I try to remind myself sometimes, you know, when I was really wasteful is when I was smoking a pack of cigarettes a day and drinking fucking a shit ton. 
of alcohol. Yeah. You know like, how many bottles that was? That's a yeah. lot. Mm-hmm. You know, that's so, a lot so, of like, consu- well, I drink these now. But. If you're going to like reuse them or like whatever, I don't think there's anything weird about puzzles. Um, Thank you for supporting me on this. Yeah. There's also going to be like, I've never seen someone lean that far back to get the last sip out of a drink. You I wanted the last sip. <laughs> <laughs> that was I don't have to diagnose it. <laughs> uh, and then you do it. Too. I just <laughs> don't move my neck at all. And then I do it too. Oh. I'm like, um, huh. I want to say. I'm just curious about the puzzle community because I uh, Deb Giovanni, uh, another good friend of mine, also big puzzler, and I just. Deb Giovanni is a friend of mine also, but she didn't respond to my last text to her. <laughs> I and feel I hope bad. that she's listening today. I, uh, I forgot <laughs> to ask her. So I did. Fly. I did talk to her. Yes, I did forget to ask her. I will call her on my way. No, no, <laughs> no. That's fine. If she, if she wanted to talk to me she would know where to find you me. guys could co-puzzle you quietly could, do you like Zoom co-puzzling to each other no i don't no. puzzling no. is, is a myself. solo thing okay. you never like to share because you I, have a system and it's i annoying. will allow n- now i will allow my family to work on a puzzle with me <laughs> mm-hmm. i fucking hate it shit my sister listened to this i like doing puzzles with my family <laughs> look she <laughs> loves you enough to do something she hates so that's nice yes thank you that's nice. That is yeah, nice. Love. That You're is like, love. I actually hate I don't this, like it but when for you, anybody mm-hmm. touches my I puzzle will do pieces. It. So somebody came into your house. Say I came over and but I went over and fiddled Dave, around. If he tries. I I let him try, but he's like so bad at it. If I came into your okay. house and just put one puzzle piece in, would you notice? Would you come in and be like, "Who put this puzzle piece here?" I. It depends on how far I was in the puzzle. Okay. Um, I wouldn't care. You wouldn't be like, I put the puzzle together. And you but like, take you, it away and But if hide you it. were like, <laughs> if you were like checking on my cats that week or something. And I did like half the puzzle. And you came in and did like half the puzzle. I would. I think I might've done that once. <laughs> no, you didn't. Be sick. <laughs> really? Oh my God. No, I, w- I, w- I wouldn't be sick, but I would try to undo it. Oh, back to where it was. was. Back yeah, to yeah, where yeah, it yeah, was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, uh, huh. that's so fun. I would good for, for you. Have you have a dedicated hobby. That's a good hobby. Do I have a hobby? I don't have a solo hobby. I thought I was going to try to paint this week. I'm, I'm going to paint something. I'm not a painter, but yeah, I'll try. Yeah, 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 yeah. do that. I do want to do, it's not a solo thing. I want to do, do a want, board game Do you night. want a puzzle? I would take a puzzle. I'll give you a puzzle. I'll do a, I'll go to painter class I'll, if I'll you want to. I'll try to think of one oh, that I know has all I'll do a paint thing. Yeah. I used to, I almost went to college for um, visual art. You did? I, I was a bit of an artiste in high school. Okay, well then I don't want to weird. with you. No, no, weird. Oh, it was weird. Art, abstract shit. It was weird. I, I took love, an oil painting that. class in college and I was mortified by how much better everybody was than I was. <laughs> oh. We, If you looked around the room, you would laugh so hard. Everyone else's paintings were like awesome and so good. And then you get to mine and I looked like I was a fucking eighth grader. I was so it's hard. Embarrassed. And there's little techniques. I know that, it's like, hard, but why isn't it hard for other people too? Well, because they've probably been doing it a while. They learn techniques. Have you ever tried to they follow along? They were in the same to... fucking grade as me. We were in the same goddamn class. But they've probably been painting forever. Like yeah. that wasn't a new class. They like yeah, already yeah, like yeah. to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have yeah. you it was ever tried to? Class, yeah. You know Bob Ross? Yeah. You ever yeah. tried to follow along to those? Oh, impossible. Is that what you're supposed He's to do? Speed painting. Well, no. Oh. Absolutely. I mean, I don't. I wish I could show you a picture that I did trying to follow. Oh, I did a six episode Twitch series called Slob Ross, where I'd bring on an artist. I would interview them while we were drinking a drink. And there's one, I literally think I might've gotten oil paint in my drink. I was so fucked up. I was beyond fucked up. I think I said something that's probably, I don't even know what it was, but I'm like, that's the worst thing that could ever be said. I have no, just something like mean or whatever. Not, not racist or but just like yeah mean horrific yeah like yeah. Some, about probably someone i know or whatever yeah. but like just shit faced but we would try to paint along while we interviewed oh, and it's that's like fun. he's it's a fucking. speed painter yeah it's um, fucking you're like <laughs> blacking out and oil painting do not mix no, if no, you no, no, don't no, no. wash your hands off very thoroughly immediately after you stop oil painting i've left the paint on my hands and then when i washed it off my hands were silver because oh, i left fuck. it on for too long oh yeah it's toxic that's fucking terrible that's why you. like um, there's painters who went crazy and stuff you know we stopped well no we stopped for i will say i think episodes, but. my sister can relate to you I made this thing. She took the same art class as me in high school, and I made this like really cool like eagle, and I she chiseled it out of this weird material. And my dad kept it, and then she made. Oh no! I, 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 she said it was a seal head, but she clearly just took the blob, put it on a thing, jabbed two eyes in it, and then my dad kept it for years. And I, I one day I was like, "What is this?" He's like. Your sister was so bad at art, but we just had. And he, she asked, like, I can hear you. Like, this. I and my dad like still has. It, it's so comical. I, I'm going to go home and find it and I'll find a photo of it. It's embarrassing. Like, she was old enough that 
It's a seal head. Uh, two eyes, no, nothing. It was just like a blob. With no, it was, It's a blob. It's a blob. It's a blob. I just had this happen when my mom was like getting ready to move and I went out to Utah to like help her pack stuff and I picked up this little like clay colored, like red clay colored statue and I went, oh. And she goes, yeah, it's just some fucking stupid cat or something your brother made years ago, but I didn't want to get rid of it. And I was like, uh, it's a dog and I made it. Yeah. That's hilarious. <laughs> it's a dog. It's very clearly a dog. And mine, she's like, I... Okay, and she kept it. It's so ugly, guys. We are over an hour. Should we wrap, wrap it up? We gotta wrap, wrap it up. up. Wrap it up. Thank wrap you it up. So really much quick. For listening. We're gonna. You're doing a puzzle. What are you doing? We're gonna paint. Let's paint. Let's puzzle. Let's paint. I don't want to puzzle. I'll paint. I have an easel. Let's come over. I got you have paint. an easel. I have paint. I have paints. I, I have canvas. Let's paint. And absolutely no skill. If you want to join for painting, we can paint. Thanks. That's too much of a drive for a thing I'm bad at. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna paint a puzzle. <laughs> Yeah, not one of my puzzles. I guess you can have it. I yeah. care about you, and not, I have. I meant like I'm gonna. Yes. The painting will look like but a puzzle. But man, my Amy Stewart's. I really. I. I mean, I. I have you a, know the the artist of the puzzles. Oh, oh wow, yeah. you're deep. I only yeah, this is yeah. Amy Stewart is she like the Danielle Steele of puzzles. Yeah, that's a weird <laughs> reference. No, it's, it's a good. That's a very good reference. Not doing Georgia sexual O'Keefe puzzles for puzzles. No, you she just every puzzles. piece that is different, do. and they're really intricate and pretty, and they put me in a good place. Mm. Wow. Maybe I'll get into porn puzzles. That I would That'd do. That'd be great. I'm going to start <laughs> taking people's Bumble <laughs> profiles and making them puzzles. Um, like a psychopath. That's insane. Okay, that's crazy. Let's wrap it up. Thank you for tuning in. Slobs Pod. Follow all of us on Instagram. Go leave a rating and a review on yeah. iTunes. If you listen somewhere else, do it somewhere else. But go there. The, I, we, I, we see the numbers, and there's yeah. the, the ratio right. of people listening versus the ratio of you have reviewed. We know you're there. We know you like it because you're still listening. Yeah. Tell your friends. Tell people, come be a slob with us. Bye. 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 Follow the podcast at Slob's Pod. Follow me at Lara Bites. Follow me at Steph Tolev. Follow me everywhere on the internet at JMS Comedy.